Hello Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly angel advice tarot reading for the week of September 25th through October 1st. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for the comments, the shares, the likes. I absolutely love doing this for you guys every morning, the monthlies, um, the love, the love monthlies. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So I do. I thank you. Keep the comments coming. I really do try to answer everybody's or respond in some way. Um, Carissa Hanu was the winner of the my Facebook contest for the full 14 card reading um, since the 11th I've tried relentlessly to get a hold of this girl and I've been unsuccessful so I'm giving her till Sunday and on Monday I am going to be pulling another winner for that reading and if you would like to get in on it um, just click the link below and just like the page and that will, I will put you, put your name down um, and, and add your name to the list. So, wow. So, Pisces, beautiful card. The star, my most favorite card. Aquarius. Air element, though. I mean, it, your wish, you know, this is your wish card. It is, it's whatever you want, you know, in relationships, it, it's really, it, it, you're destined to find your soulmate, you know, if you're already in a relationship, they're, you know, they're calm, they're harmonious, you know, as far as like your, you know, money, work and career, you know, there's luck there. I mean, yeah, the star is just beautiful. It, you know, it offers hope, faith, guidance. It's a beautiful card. It really is wish upon a star. You know, definitely, you know, in this deck, by this this is um, by Doreen Virtue. All of the decks are by Doreen Virtue. The Tarot cards are Do Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And, you know, in her deck, you know, definitely look to your future with optimism, excitement, confidence. You know, definitely challenging times are behind you. Brighter times are ahead. Definitely go ahead and make plans with, you know, the long view in mind. And now is the time to envision, you know, to set your sights, you know, your goals. Beautiful card. Major Arcana, too. And then we have the, not, the Nine of Autumn, which better known as the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. You know, and that's all about comfort, prosperity, accomplishments. You know, I mean, there's new beginnings. Virgo, if I did not say that, sorry. Um, you know, with this card, you've worked hard. I mean, you know, you, you've accomplished a great deal. You know, you deserve a little R&R &R this week. You know, maybe enjoy yourself in some small or, or even large ways. Definitely, um...
you know, if it's someone new that, that could possibly be coming into your life, you know, she is definitely, you know, financially stable, secure. You know, independent, generous, well balanced. Yeah, beautiful energy. But really, any any earth sign. You know, if your wish is to begin a new relationship this week. Definitely take advantage of that, you know, start a new creative project. You know, with the star, you know, if you're waiting for some sort of information to come in. Yeah, it, it, the start of the week should really be beautiful. And then from Archangel Michael. We have lean on God and the angels for support. You know, so with this card, you know, your friends, definitely let your friends help you, your family. Um, you know, if you're having, you know, but whatever the situation, whatever, whatever the decision is that you're trying to make, you know, you're, you know, with this card, you know, you're, you're strong, you're independent, you know, but there are still, there are times when everybody, every one of us needs support. And for some of you, you know, the time is now. This card definitely guides you to give the situation, you know, completely to God, the angels, the universe, whatever it is for you, just... Let it go. Let your, let people help you let it go. You know, just say it, pray it, release it, and be done with it. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care will yield more energy for you later. Um, so, you know, pay attention to what your body is telling you with this card. I, you know, you, 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 for some of you, you could get caught up in dreams or worries with this card. This places your attention on the future. So you may, you know, forget to take care of yourself right now. You know, for some of you, I think that's why, you know, this card came out. It's just, it's just a reminder for some of you. You know, the, the importance of taking care of yourself. Pay attention to what your body is telling you. You know, no gender, you know, man or woman, as far as this new relationship. You know, it's a general reading, private readings, absolutely. General readings, gender does not matter. And if this reading does not resonate with you, please check your moon or your rising sign. I always say, suggest, really, to check all three because when you combine the three together, it really does make sense. You know, especially, I feel, with, with, the, with the angel readings. Um, you know, I do use a, a, a variety of different cards, but the angel cards really are, they're powerful for me. I, I, I do really love them. 
But okay, spread your wings. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. And, you know, you may not feel, or you may feel, sorry, you may feel I intimidated, you know, by the thought, the prospect of change, by the thought of moving past your comfort zone. But, you know, I've been there, but you could do it. You're ready. This card says you're ready. You know, welcome the new opportunities and know that, you know, that it's safe for you to follow your, your heart and your dreams. Keep your focus upon love. Spirit. Avoid naysayers, skeptics. It's a beautiful card. Whatever this is for you guys this week. <laughs> All right. I see this, you know, I just said this to a friend today. If you don't take risks in life, chances, leap of faith, you know, you're, you're never going to go anywhere. You're, you're never going to move on. You know, you're, you'll, you'll, you'll stay stuck in the same... In the same job, the same relationship, what, whatever it is for you. Not even two hours ago, I just said that to somebody. And really, I mean, guys, Pisces, it's a star card. Guys, whatever your wish is this week, manifest that crap. Seriously. I don't see the star card often enough. Really. And then we have perception. What the eyes can see. Wait, what do I want to say to that? The heart knows what the eyes cannot see. Um, okay. Okay, this is a great message of this card. Okay. Uh, if I could pick it up. Okay. So, have you ever noticed that you could, um, look at the same situation in a different mood and have a completely different take on it? Just think about that for a second, how much sense that makes. Okay, so this week, Play with challenging your perception to shift your reality. Don't you love that? I mean, if you think that, you know, you're never fundamentally happy but rather, we value our life according to our present precipitation of it. I mean, this card just makes perfect sense, you know. 
The heart knows what the eyes cannot see. So really, I mean, it's a beautiful message for the week. Really, manifest this. Whatever it is for you. By the end of the week, Beautiful message for the week. Manifest that wish. Whatever it is. This is the week for you guys. By the beginning of next week, definitely. Comment. I'd love to hear comments. Okay, guys, those are the messages for the week from your angels for you guys. I love it. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It's a great message. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. You should by the looks of your cards. You're going to get your wish. It's your wish card. And I will see you guys back here with the morning oracles. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.